everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel I just wanted to come on with a slightly different video today I've been working on some vintage um, ephemera that I've actually cut out from magazines I bought um, I think it was Harper Bazaar and they had like um, a special celebrating 50 years or celebrating however many years and they had quite a lot of vintage um, images in there so I've still got some left and um, so I'll show you what I've got left so you can get a general gist of the type of images that are cut out and then I'll show you how I've actually turned them into like some ephemeral embellishment style things so that's my pile so it's just things like you know most of them are black and white style images. I have already distressed the majority of these. I don't think that was from Half Bazaar, that was just from another fashion magazine. But some of them are gorgeous, like that one. You would never think that was from a magazine. Some of them are very expensive looking. Some of them do have like, um, you know, it was in a spread and there's another picture that's cutting into it but I would just cover that up when I eventually come to embellish them not sure what that was but you know lovely image and this one this one's gorgeous again you would never think that these are from magazines so that's the type of um, images that I collected if you would like me to do um, you know flipping through a magazine and selecting vintage images just let me know in the comments sections below so um, let me start by showing you these are going to be used in junk journals some of them I haven't heavily embellished because I'll just use them in tuck spots like this one so all I've done here is just put it onto craft paper and just much podged I've much podged over all of these uh, and this one I've just done some sewing again I'll probably just use this in a tuck spot and then I've just layered it up with um, scraps I just lay out my strap my scraps drawer and then this is like an invoice a tea dyed invoice ticket um, I distressed all of the edges with vintage photo and then I've just layered them up with bits of lace bits of old book um, other types of just little embellishments this one's my favorite this is just so simple it's on a piece of wood well a piece of wood scraps it's just single-sided paper I think that is is so effective again stitching with the sewing machine and I've just left the thread off and I've done some layering this was um, like baking tray liner so it's really thin but with the mod pods mod pod <laughs> it almost gives a um a glossy plasticky feel that one i've just um, layered them off and then just done the sewing quite square some of them are quite square some of them are like quite off center and i've also like layered doilies um, some of it's tea stained, some of it's distressed. I literally just sat there with my scraps drawer, my little scrap folder of um, lace, because look, you can see how small that is, but I always keep little bits of lace because I think, oh, I'd love to use that. You know, it's such a shame to waste. Little off cuts. Okay, and that's an off cut. I really like that one. That's the only one that I've really used colour in because it was a nice colour. Okay, and some more of these. Just sewing. This is like a, um, a blueprint or, you know, an original sketch. And again, I've just layered it up. This one's also one of my favourites. It's a gorgeous tag. Let me move those out of the way so you can see. So I just layered it up on Hessian. I think someone gifted me that. It might have been Angie. So thank you, Angie, if you're watching. And again, just layered it up. I like that one how I've done the so it was actually an accident I meant to sew further closer to the edge but um, I like how it's quite far in frames it quite nicely Ooh, I hope you can see like the trims I do apologize if it's because of like my hand again this one I've just put so um, got two there <laughs> some tall and a nice little bow that I've literally just got from Thailand <laughs> again used a little bit of colour in that one 
of, that's why you can see the line I hope you can see they've actually used two different colors of paper but you know one was thicker than the other this one's a gorgeous piece lovely image and I've just used a doily this is actually wallpaper here and I've just um, ripped the edges and then um, just distressed them and then the last one that I did is this huge one I hope it all fits in um, but yeah this is a good one I thought that I would just lay this down on a junk journal and this would be like the whole page this can be used as like a little tuck spot there um, I th thought I'd do it as a top loading pocket as well or you know you can do it as a side loading pocket however you choose to stick it down on your junk journal page and this one was actually a little bit of a mishap there was meant to be sewing around all four edges and what happened is halfway through the sewing um, it ran out of you know cotton on the bottom bobbin so I thought oh god what am I going to do because I won't be able to stitch back in the holes I've already made so I literally just sewed around the whole thing without any thread <laughs> and I just love what, what type of effect it's had so sometimes when these things are a mistake um, because they're so shabby and vintage it doesn't matter that they um, you know looks a little bit incomplete because that adds to the whole element thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this type of video i know it's a little bit different to what i usually do but uh, this is what i'm into at the moment um really into my vintage junk journals so please subscribe to my channel and um yeah there'll be plenty more junk journal videos thank you bye